welcome back guys and in this chapter i will talk about the interface in java right so this is one of the important topic where uh, you always design interface whenever you work for any project right so first we need to understand what are the important points we have in the interface and then we'll go ahead with the example one by one we'll try to understand so if you look at the first point where you are saying that you cannot instantiate an interface which means you cannot create the object of interface right so why we can uh, why we cannot create the object of interface we'll see later here we'll just try to remember these points so first point says that we cannot create the object of interface which means when you cannot create the object of interface you cannot write the constructor in interface also right because constructor is mainly used for object creations apart from that constructor has no role i mean yes it is also used to initialize your global variable but here since you cannot create the object you cannot write the constructor now all methods in the interface are abstract so the third point if you look at here all methods are abstract right what does mean by that all methods are abstract which means we have a method which has no implementation so if you look at here the interface uh, you can see that test one right so this test one and test two so this is interface method you can see that here this method has no implementations when you write normal method what you do you write y test one parenthesis and then you write the curly braces right it will try to recollect here there is no curly braces which means there is no implementations for this method so when you design interface you need to write method like this uh, the fields of interface must be public static and final so if you look at the two fields which i have given here int i and j right so in first int i i am writing that 90 and for int j i am writing that 80 but for int j i am writing that public static final so what happens in case of int i here though you don't write this public static final will be provided by the compiler itself so when you write int i internally it will convert to public static final int i right so this is by default in case of interface now interface is not extended by the class it is implemented by the class this point it is not uh, extended by the class it is implemented by the class so which we'll see that but before that before going to the next point if you look at here in when we create a class here it will be a class but when we have an interface here we have a interface so this is another important point when you design interface you need to write here interface you don't write class here as well as all the method of interface should be unimplemented all the variables will be by default public static final okay now an interface is not extended by the class it is implemented by the class what does mean by that so now let's see that yeah so it is extended by the class it is not implemented by the class just one minute what is hanging and interface can extend multiple interface so if you remember one class can extend only one other class right so you have class a this class a basically uh, can extend another class b it cannot extend b comma c let's say you have three class a b c your uh, class cannot extend more than one class right whereas in case of interface if you look at here interface can uh, extend multiple another interface this point interface can extend multiple another interface right all methods of interface are abstract and all fields are public static final by default which i have shown you and this is used to achieve multiple inheritance now let's see that what i'm trying to say that so you have an interface here right there is an interface called a and the interface has two methods test1 test2 now there is a class called b so this class b will implement the interface a here right here you are not going to 
extend so here you are not going to extend it here you are implementing it whereas in case of uh, class we were extending it right so this is another important point your class will implement the interface whereas your class will extend the other class so this is another important point uh, all methods are public and abstract by default what does mean by that so if you look at here though you are writing that void test one void test one there is no access modifier here i'm not saying that whether it is a uh, public private uh, let's say it looks like it's a, it looks like it is a default method but the moment you will implement the interface by default the access of all the method will be public right by default which we can see that with the example now this is also used to achieve the multiple inheritance which means you can implement more than one interface so let's say if there, if there is two interface a and b let's say assume that there is two interface a comma b and uh, c is the class so c can actually implement okay c can implement a comma b so c can implement a comma b there is no problem but c cannot extends a comma b right but in case of interface it can implement so it is also helped to achieve multiple inheritance now you can see that this diagram where uh, what you have is you have an interface here and you have three classes class a class b and class c so this all three classes is implementing the interface Right, you can see that here your all three classes are implementing the interface so multiple class can implement the same interface multiple class it's like uh, if you remember in inheritance when i was talking about i spoke about multiple inheritance similarly here your multiple class can implement the same interface and they can write the implementations of method based on their needs their requirements which we'll see that now till now what we learned in interface we'll have non implemented methods the members are public static final we cannot create object we cannot write constructor right one interface extends other interface class implement interface this what i mean that's what we have learned right so what happens if you look at this three classes implementing same interface right if tomorrow there is any change here so tomorrow if you add any new method here in this interface since all three classes are implementing there will be a change in all three class by rule right so there is whenever there is any change in the interface there is supposed to be change in the corresponding classes the classes which implements the interface so that was the big problem before java 8 in java 8 what happened is they have come up they have come up with the method called default method so prior to java 8 you could not define the implementations for the method right but in java 8 we can add the default implementations for interface method let's say you have already eight methods unimplemented methods in the interface now all eight methods are implemented by class a class b class c Tomorrow I will go and I will add one more method to the interface. What will happen? All three class will break because this all class has to write the method of implementations present in the interface, right? Which you will see that with the example, you will get more a uh, clear picture here. Try to understand. So in Java 8, they have come up with the default annotations where you can write a default method, which means the method has the implementations. When the method has the implementations, then it will not force you to write the newly default added method in your class. It will not force you because it has the implementations, right? So same, same thing I have written here. Suppose you need to add a new function in the existing interface. Obviously the old code will not work as the class have not implemented those new functions, right? So with the help of default implementations, we can give a default body to the newly added method and the old code will work as it is. So the old work code, there will not be any problem when you have default. The second thing is what it came in Java 8 is, apart from default method, right? You can actually define a static method, which was not there earlier before Java 8, this was not there. 
so apart from default method they have come up with the static method you can write one static methods also interface uh, in the interface and again that will not be the object member because you know that the static is not the object member the static is the class member so when you want to access the static methods you have to access via the reference of the class you can see that in java what happened two uh, two things came to the picture one is default so you have to write the default here you can see that i am writing the uh, implementations for the method and it is a default two default methods are written in the interface you can write as many as you want and then i am able to write a static method also with the implementation so this came in the java 8 so in java 8 you can do this okay without any problem right now in java 9 what happened so in java 9 the static methods was there already in java 8 in java 9 what happens if they have come up with the private methods so if you remember my above definitions what i said your all interface methods are by default public though you write don't write by default public but in java 9 they have come up uh, with the approach where you can write private method in the interface okay and even you can write a static private method in the interface in the java 9 so with this i'll close the video from next video onwards we'll start with actual coding there you will understand how this interface works how we implement or how we implement the interface and how we can achieve all this functionality thank you guys thank you for watching this